paid $5 in an online auction, sold for full price of $349.59. Oh my goodness, this one's hilarious. I love it. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's talk about some big money bolos, some items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Who sold the items? members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and my YouTube channel. I posted this in the Facebook group. It says, share your best January Bolo. And they all shared. And now I'm gonna put it in video format so that we can all learn. And I'm gonna tell you, I learned so much from this, from doing this video. All right, so here we go with the first one. This one comes from YouTube channel Vintage Spice. And this girl is a Bolo finder. She has a newer YouTube channel. But I tell you what, I watch her what sold videos and I learn something new every single time. So definitely go sub her up. Uh, she is a Bolo Buddies member. That means she has joined memberships level two. Uh, there's a link below that tells you all about that. Basically, um, if you join at level two, you will get a mention in the video with a pop-up and a link down in the description. She bought this at an online auction. She has about $3 into it and sold it for a full sale price of $82.79 in a few hours. It is an original Marks Ben Her Playset Emperor figure cream color 1950s. She is super knowledgeable about Marks. So check her out. Okay, here's one of mine. If you don't know about these, definitely be on the lookout. I found, I think there were four of them and they were just sitting in my money pile in my garage and I was kind of going through things and I saw them and I'm like, I think I saw these listed in my Facebook group recently as a bolo. So I pulled them out, put batteries in them. They are definitely a bolo. I prob I don't remember. I think I got them at a garage sale, but I'm not 100% sure, but probably paid less than a buck for them because that's, I just know how I source. They are Pixel Chicks Love to Shop Mall 2005 Pink Purse Interactive Tested and Working. This is what it looks like. I sold this for $77.50 plus shipping. This one comes from Kitsch, oh, I can't say the word. Kitschy Kansen. Is it K-I-T-S-C-H-Y? Can somebody give me a cheat sheet of how to say that word? Kitschy Kansen. That's her eBay store name. That's what it looks like. Bought this blown glass decanter at my local flea market for seven. Thought it could possibly be Empoli. It had a beautiful glass owl head stopper. Had it listed for 100 and within a couple days got an offer of 70 that I accepted. Oh, it's an owl and it's so cool. Check it out. That is cool. All right, here's another one from the same gal. Found this Viking glass bird at my local flea market for $3.50 and it sold within a couple weeks for full asking price of $50. It is a Viking MCM mid-century modern art glass avocado green robin bird figurine. And here is another one. Bought this case carving set from an individual. Paid up for it $50. Listed it for $150. And within three weeks of listing, I accepted an offer of $120. So this is one of those things where she knew it was valuable and she was willing to pay up for it. And it sold quickly. It's a vintage noble duo by case stainless steel carving set. And this is what it looks like. Paid $5 in an online auction, sold for full price of $349.59. This one comes from Vintage, Vintage Spice. I just told you she has an awesome YouTube channel. $349, you guys. It's a vintage dollhouse miniature artisan carpet or rug. It's needlepoint. One of a kind needlepoint rug for a dollhouse. $349.59. Wow, right? Just wow. Here's another one from her. Paid $4 for a baggie of dolls and accessories at the Salvation Army. I have sold almost everything from the bag for big money. Sold for full price of $69.91. It is a Sophia 
fairy costume outfit doll, nine inch Kruisling Kathy Cruz jointed vinyl doll. Kathy Cruz. I found a wood dollhouse figure by Kathy Cruz. I'm pretty sure that's the same, the same one I found. And it was a bolo also. So definitely look up that name if you see it. But these are um, vinyl. Never seen these. All right, this comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures, and this is her eBay store. Vintage Christmas Ornament Clips, pack of 12. Purchase four packs total at an estate sale for a dollar each. Three of the packs were duplicates, gold with a star pattern, and one pack was silver with a snowman. Sold the three star pattern packs to one buyer who was all in for $135.48 after getting 15% off coupon. Also sold the last package for $46 after discount. Wow, that's awesome. Here's another one from Lola's Trunk Treasures. Picked up at the Claire's exclusive SpongeBob Squishmallow for $4. So Claire's is a store that's typically like in a mall. But uh, she got it at the Goodwill for 4 bucks and sold him in less than 12 hours for a best offer of $45. So this is a Kelly Toy Squishmallow. Um, whenever you can find like Walmart, not Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Claire's, um, exclusives for stores like that, they can definitely be something you want to look up. The Rebel Reseller, definitely check out her YouTube channel. She sells a ton of plush and that is one thing she talks about. I think, uh, Target and Walmart, even those as well. So they may be bread and butter, but they do sell. Okay. Lola's Trunk Treasures again. Bought this from the Goodwill in a bag of small plush for $4. Buyer used my 15% off coupon and was all in for $54.23 after shipping. It is a Black Wolf Black Plastic Nose Gans Webkins plush. Okay, if you don't know, some Webkins go for crazy money. I recently did a video on Webkins. It looks like this. Go check it out because you're going to want to know which ones to look for because I'm talking hundreds of dollars for some of them. And it looks like Lola's Trunk Treasures has a coupon in her store. So she's linked down below. You can check out her coupon. This one comes from eBay store Dolo's Deals. And this is what it looks like. She said, I picked this up at the bins for 15 cents. Was going to keep it for myself till I looked up comps. Listed it at $198.99, had three offers in 24 hours. I countered at $175. She said, I sell mainly on Etsy, but I knew this would sell fast if I put it on eBay. Dolo deals on eBay and Etsy. And a proud Bolo Buddies member. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. It is Brenda Gant. It's going to be good. Y'all cookbook 2021. So it's not even that old. Wow. Like that makes me want to look up every cookbook, right? We purchased this scarf for $2.99 and sold the next day. We had never heard of this brand, but it is definitely a bolo. Pind Pinda? Pinida? Ooh. Kavalin? Vintage Mexico multicolored floral scarf. Vintage 80s. 70 by 20. And this is what it looks like. Another antique book sold on Etsy, 15 cent purchase at the bins, probably took about a year to sell. This is also Dolo Deals and it sold for $50 plus shipping. It's an antique 1904 early handwriting reference book. Wow, that's cool. Got this Shelly teacup and saucer set for 15 cents at a local clearance bins type store where you can fill a 50 gallon trash bag for $10. Sold in less than 24 hours to a best offer of 80 on eBay. Teacups can definitely be a bolo. And this is what it looks like. Purchased this and two small bins full of stamps from a church sale a few weeks ago. $12 for everything. This pays for everything purchased that day. This pays for everything purchased that day, plus the almost 300 in stamps I have listed. It says Precious Moments Nativity Rubber Stamp Set of Nine Christmas Religion Star PMI. And this is what it looks like. My dad has a ton of OOP Kung Fu books. He no longer wanted them. Sold on best offer, but zero cost. It is a 
oh, some word I can't say, karate history book. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Sold it for $49.99. Purchased this last year at a yard sale for $5. Was going back and forth on offers. Then they purchased it for full asking. It is a Precious Moments Disney Little Mermaid figure. Love is the greatest treasure. It's rare and it looks like it's in the original box. $125 on that one. Oh my goodness, this one's hilarious. I love it. Purchased at a local thrift store last year. Had no clue what it was, but puppets are a good seller. I agree. I pick up every puppet I find that is a good, a good price. Was shocked to learn what it was. Only paid $3 and I have Grad Paul too. It is for, um, I don't know what that means. Rare Jim Henson, the tail of the bunny, picnic twitch bunny puppet. This is what it looks like. Found this in a garage on the second day of an estate sale, sitting in plain sight on a self, shelf. Just grabbed without looking it up. Paid $10 for about eight items. So about $1.25 average cost. Couldn't find any comps or solds in the past two years. Sold in under 48 hours for full price. Maybe I should have priced it higher, but I'm still happy with the money and the quick turnover. It's a vintage Marty Ascenders right and left Switzerland with foot rope loops. I don't know what it is, but that's what it looks like. Bought in December at a thrift for 75 cents and sold in a matter of weeks. It is a new Barney's Big Surprise live on stage VHS sealed. Sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Found these at an estate sale last week for less than $3. Sold both to the same seller at same buyer at full asking. Only the bezels, no watch. So they are the Gucci bezels, like the color changing, like you can change the band or the, the bezel. They're not color changing, but you can like clip them on and off. So yeah, 179 for this one and 119 for that one. No watch, just the paperwork and the box and the stuff. Got this for free at an estate, estate lean out box. Wait, hold on. Got this at an estate. Oh, got this at an estate clean out. Box is in really rough condition. Got full asking price of $100, but it did take about six months to sell. Ralph Lauren Chaps Vintage 1979 Cologne Boxed Gift Set Never Used. It is never used, new in the box. That is allowed. Go check out my perfume video if you haven't watched it. Um, there are rules for selling perfume, so don't get your account suspended. Don't get in trouble. It's been a week of great bolo sales for me this week. I found this leather notebook at the bins. Was skeptical at first, but had to grab it when I saw the comps. Sold in less than a week for a best offer of 119. It is a Marley Hodgson. Hodgson. H-O-D-G-S-O-N. Garuka. G-H-U-R-K-A. Refillable leather notebook, legal pad, folio, business access. That's what it looks like. Found this plush in the reject bin by the register at the Goodwill outlet. I don't know what that means, the reject bin. Maybe that's just kind of where people throw things as they're leaving, like, eh, I don't want it. There were at least 10 Five Nights at Freddy's plush that had been cast off there. Sold this in a couple weeks for a best offer of $60. It is the golden Freddy stuffed animal. Bought a bag of marbles ooh, for $2.50 at Savers um, a month or so ago because there were several marble styles in the bag I had never seen before. I sold several lots of three or four marbles for $10 each in the past couple weeks. And this single shooter marble sold today for $69. Still have half the bag to sell. That's pretty. Someone must have donated their entire doll collection because I found nearly an entire bin full of vintage dolls at the Goodwill outlet last week. I grabbed as many as I could and I'm still listing a few, but this one sold overnight for a best offer of 30. Susie Sad Eyes Vintage Doll Original Dress Tights and Shoes. Oh my goodness. 
$30. I've never seen her before, but she looks so special. $30 seems so cheap. Anybody know about her? I'm gonna have to look that one up. Bought this rare jelly cat bashful bunny on, at a consignment store for eight bucks. Sold for full asking price. Almost priced it low. Almost priced it too low as I was comping out the smaller size until I went to a jelly cat collector site. Sold it for $220.80 plus shipping. If you guys have not seen my jelly cat bolo video, go watch it. I definitely talk about the bunnies. Bought this off Marketplace with a few other Snoopy items, so I paid eight for this. Sold in a few weeks for full asking price of 85 plus shipping. It is the 2005 Monopoly Snoopy It's a Dog's Life Collector's Edition board game. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Follow Me for Fantastic Finds on eBay. This is her eBay store. Found at the Goodwill Bins. Went because of you. <laughs> but I wasn't going to crowd those people. They are mean. Couldn't find much else other than clothes, but found this awesome suede leather vest. So maybe $5 due to weight. Sold in six days for $43 plus shipping. It's a black suede leather vest. Cody James Men's. Uh, that is so funny. I love, love, love the Goodwill Bins. And I don't think they are all created equal because there's so many people that say they hate it and people are mean. I love mine. People are so nice. I mean, I'm sure there's people that have problems, but um, I see people all the time that watch the channel. So if you're watching, thanks for watching. Thanks for shopping with me. Um, but we have a good time. So um, yeah, that's really the only place that I see people that watch the channel, or at least that come up to me and say they watch the channel. All right, so here, this one's from her also. Follow me for fantastic finds. Another barn find. Almost didn't list it. Wasn't sure if the stones were real. It was rusty and tarnished, but I figured I'd list it anyway. I made sure to point out the lack of authenticity. Oh, I just said authenticity so good. I can't believe how good I said it. It just came right out. You guys, if you've been watching me a while, I struggle so hard with that word. I am, I, I'm in shock right now, literally, that it came out that smooth. <gasps> I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Practice. Practice makes perfect. Anyway, sold it in a couple days for $15. It may be worth much more, but I was happy with the $15. I asked her to send me a photo if she cleaned it up, and she told me she wasn't going to clean it up, that it was beautiful the way it is. And hey, I am more happy to leave, I'm more than happy to leave meat on the bone in cases when I don't know the item. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, that might've been a big money bolo. Anybody know jewelry? Because I don't, but that looks amazing. <gasps> wow. Tarnished turquoise jade gold tone brooch. See notes. And here's another one from Follow Me for Fantastic Finds eBay store. This was another barn find, so free. It's a tag to go on your car for states that don't require a license on the front. It was never used and sold quickly for $25. It says, if you don't like Hank Williams, you can kiss my blank. This is a family-friendly show. No, no cursing, no bad words, nothing here like that. Uh, everyone is welcome to watch this channel. Anyway, it has a picture of a donkey instead of the word. It's just a silly little thing. So $25 on that one. All right, we are going to stop there, and I'm going to thank you all for being here, and thank you for watching. If you want to join memberships, awesome. If you don't, no problem at all, no pressure at all. Um, it's just there if you want to, and there's details down below. Thank you so much. Um, leave me an emoji of a hat, and this is in my merch store now, Bolo Buddies hats. Turned out great. I wanted to uh, get one for myself before... I wanted to make sure the embroidery looked good and they turned out awesome. So these are um, available on Teespring and I do have a link down below. I also have Bolo Buddies shirts and different merch. So if you guys want to sport something that's Bolo Buddies, by all means, that link is down below. If not, no worries. I wear it all the time just because the sweatshirts, I live in them. They're so comfortable. All right, you guys, leave me an emoji of a hat. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Have a great night. A plus. <coughs> Sorry, I've been recording for like 10 hours. No, I'm kidding.